So, while I was looking for the said electric heater, found something else that I bought years ago and put away. A World War II German prisoner of war piece of uh, utility furniture. What it is, it's a cantilever, plywood and scrap wood sewing box for needles, thread, cotton, things like that. It cantilevers outwards, very, very well made. So I'll put this down on the chair and I'll have a look. It needs a bit of repair done to it because there's a bit of, it's, it's just where the, the old wood glue's dried out in places, so it's, it's coming apart. Very well made, really well fitted inside. So just a typical example of how German POWs sort of wild the time away in the prisoner of war camps in England and Scotland and all over the place. So that was made by a German POW in a camp somewhere up in Scotland. Bought this at, I think it was Sillith Car Boot Sale many years ago from the family of the woman who was a girl that it was made for at the time. But unfortunately, all the details of who made it, gone. But 1944 POW camp in Scotland, made by a German prisoner of war. And they'd either do them as gifts or they'd sell them. A really nice item. No woodworm on it at all, because it's been in storage for years, covered in dust on the top. So I'll put it on the chair, we'll have a look around it anyway. So I just, Bear with me a sec. So, really nice, well made wooden box. Very professionally made. It's got lifting handles on that side, lifting handles on that side. And for my reference, many years ago, sewing box made by German POW 1944, one of the POW camps in Scotland. Box cantilever is out. Fine example of POW work. And it is a really nice item. Now if we deal with the damaged side, where the glue's dried out at, this bit here needs refixed. The, the top on this side, that top needs refixed. So if we ignore that, what it does is that lifts outward like that. And obviously that one there lifts up and over as well. You've got these little really nice storage areas on both sides. And I like the way that that's made as four squares. That's made as other individuals. And again, storage space in there. And what it does is, if I can do this with one hand, it cantilevers. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? It cantilevers. Oh, you get hold of the handle there, you pull. And it cantilevers out on both sides. I'm not going to be able to do that one because I can there. There we are. And that gives you access to the bottom. So a really nice 1944 POW made sewing box. As I say, really nicely made. Now sometimes on some of these you get the guy's initials or name or something else inside, but there's never been anything inside this at all, but it's been really, really nicely made. There's a couple of pencil things there, but nothing of anything important. But a really nice wooden storage box. World War II German POW sewing box made for a Scottish woman in 1944. Needs a bit of repair, but it's all complete and not damaged per se. There's no um, actual woodworm in it at all. Very nice piece of kit. Surprising what I've got squirreled away.